Hey everybody, this is Horace, and in this video I want to go over DHCP. And I got a small network set up here to do just that. What is DHCP? Well, in the previous video where we set up Server Manager, there was a point where I showed you that it was that the system was picking up an APIPA address, and it, there was no IP address that was being picked up and it wasn't being picked up from a DHCP server. So again, what is DHCP? DHCP is the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So what happens when you set up a network, essentially your host devices don't know who they are and they send a request to a server that asks for an IP address. And the server will send back an IP address that the that the end device can use or the host device can use in order to communicate on the network. That would be a simple explanation for it. Uh, and again, it's DHCP. Each letter of that mnemonic tells us what that protocol is. The D stands for di for dynamic. When you're configuring something, you can either configure it statically or dynamically. Statically meaning that an administrator or a user has to physically go in and type in the information. H being host and on our in on our network here, it was going to be our PCs, but it could be a tablet or an iPhone or whatever it is that you connect to the network. C being configuration, meaning we're going to configure the IP address, and P being protocol. So we're going to go in here and click on our server and configure it for DHCP. And the first thing we need to do is to set up our server. We need to give it an IP address. So we're going to go 192.168.1.1. And it has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. We're going to leave that. And next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our DHCP service. I'm going to change the name of our service to Lab Pool. And we see that the, the range of addresses that it will be pulling from right now is 192.168.1 and we need to change this to 2 and it has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 which is fine we need to actually turn the DHCP service on and we'll save it click OK and we see that our pool of addresses has been saved minimize this here and open up our computer and if we go to the command prompt on our PC and we type in IP config, you see that it's not getting an address. There's been nothing configured. So if we go to configure and we go ahead to the correct interface that we are setting up, and if we do DHCP, you'll see that from the pool of addresses, it gets 192.168.1.2. And we can configure that or confirm that by going back to IP config and you see that it's 192.168.1.2 and you can do the same thing on the other computer here just to show you click on DHCP and it gets the IP address of 192.168.1.3 and that's it. That's a short introduction for DHCP, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Thanks and have a good day.